The next product is Personas. So same thing, Personas is something that was, that was released recently and it further expands the, the idea of doing something with your data. Now we know Connections, the core segment product was all about flowing data. Uh, protocols can be all about maintaining the integrity of data. And Personas actually starts to uh, make the data more actionable, right? Now we still don't have charts or visualization, that's not what Segment's built, but they actually tackle a, an interesting problem, right? So the, the, the way most companies manage their data right now is they, they have all this data, different tools, right? Maybe Marketo, or Amplitude, Mixpanel, and so on. And then they might create an audience or a group or a cohort of users based on some kind of attributes. Maybe they create a cohort inside Amplitude that says, hey, show me all the users who were active in the last 30 days and who did certain action. Now you have a group of, let's say, 50,000 users. So they might take those 50,000 users, export it as a CSV, and then import it to Marketo and then some kind of, do some kind of email campaign uh, at those users, right? Uh, they might, then they might say, hey, I want to do the same in Facebook. So they go into Facebook and they create a similar audience of people who you know, were active and then did some kind of event and so on, right? So what, you, what you're seeing is you're, you're seeing the idea of building groups, audiences, or cohorts at the tool level. So you do at Facebook and Amplitude and Marketo and so on. And there's a bit of manual work. You have to do the CSVs and, and so on. Um, and they, they might not be identical because now you may have some data and some tools. You, you, you may have some data in Amplitude, but the data may not be available on Facebook. Or maybe to make it available, you have to upload a CSV and so on. Right. So I say, hey, we, we have all the data. Right. Segment sees all the data, uh, ideally, right, if you're using it. Let's just allow our customers a way to build these audiences and then we'll flow them down into the tools, right? So when, when we look at uh, something like this, right, we'll say, hey, we wanna create an audience. Here are the calling a big spender. We're taking all the events, right? This completed order is an event. Lifetime value is a user trait, uh, a user attribute, and then product views an event, right? And then we have some logic here in terms of how often has happened, maybe some specific properties that we care about, right? So now we have, uh, now we have, we can build this audience based on the same, uh, based on all the segment data that we have, which is events and user traits. And then from there, we can send them down, right? We can send them down to things like Marketo and Facebook, uh, Amplitude and so on. And we can, we can develop uh, those same custom campaigns, email campaigns or uh, custom advertising campaigns based on audiences that we have built, right? So in effect, what we're doing here is we're, we're building our groups, our cohorts, audiences at a really high level, at the segment level, and then we'll flow them down into different tools automatically. And then when we make changes, those changes will flow down as well, right? So we don't have to make those changes at the tool level, which we come back to the same problem, editing, you know, five or 10 different tools, right? This will build some interesting things, you know, the ability to combine users across different devices. Um, so if, if, if the user is accessing a, on a mobile app and on a web app and somewhere else, They'll combine it and now they have a, a user history. This is interesting. Uh, tools like Amplitude and Mixpanel do this for you automatically as well. So they're basically just doing it, but with your raw data. Uh, so you have a, a more unified profile. So that, that, is, that is an interesting uh, feature that, that personas offer. The, the other thing that, that also allows this is, you know, talk about uh, the personas API and the ability to pull this data and use it maybe on your website, right? I see, I started to see companies like this um, one that comes to mind is writemessage.com.io maybe. And their, the, the value prop for, for that one will say, hey, you have a website. Um, if we know who the user is, if we know this user is John and he works at X company and he cares, you know, he's in this X industry and we know this because maybe John gave us this information at some point and we just stored it, right? We, we, we saved it. Then when John comes back to the website, instead of showing him case studies for e-commerce, we'll show him e uh, case studies for the industry that he's in, right? So we'll modify the website based on, on their information. So that's something that the personas is, is here offering, this ability to do, whether it's you know, on-site or in-app. Um, it does look like to be quite heavy on the, on the programming experience. Um, and again, this product is about the enterprise level, so that makes sense. But that's, that's, that's sort of where they're going with this idea. Now you have, now you have this user profile for David Kim, take this data and whenever David Kim interacts with you, with your website, with your app, you can customize that experience for him, not just the email campaigns or the ads that he sees. So it's, it's, it's very ambitious. Um, and it's also in its early stages, so I imagine this product will get better uh, with time. So we started to see even more use cases and things will become even more easier. Uh, but really the, the hardest thing, or really one of the hardest things that segment is solving here 
is a unified place for user data, right? So this ability of having the David Kim's profile in one place with all his activity, all his events, and all his traits, that's actually quite uh, hard to do. But since you're using segment, the data is already there. It's just a matter of organizing it. Once you organize it, you can do a lot with it. Uh, you can send it to different tools and so on. So this is a cool product. Uh, I expect Segment to, to build upon it and to see more products where they're using all this raw data they're collecting and do something with it and make some things easier, like building audiences.